Welcome, welcome, welcome to this episode of Speak Sense with me, Maxwell Mensa. You can as well call me Talent Man. On this episode of Street Sense, I'm going to be sharing with you seven dangerous mindsets you need to discard. Seven dangerous mindsets you need to discard. Now, before I get into the meat of today's message, I want to remind you and urge you to kindly subscribe. I have been saying this for so long. Please subscribe now. Yes, subscribe now. You, you, you can't be watching my videos and not subscribe. At least subscribe so that any time I post new updates, you get notified. So subscribe now like this video leave a comment for me whatever your comment is whether it is good or bad leave a comment for me and don't forget to share this video and so to today's episode seven dangerous mindsets you need to discard look life and death lies in the power of the tongue but before you say something it comes from your mind it comes from your mindset your mindset determines to a large extent so many things that happens around you and there are seven mindsets that are very dangerous, dangerous to your own progress in life that you need to discard. The first dangerous mindset you need to discard is the mindset that you don't qualify or that you are not enough. There are some of us who feel we are not enough. We, we, we never think of ourselves as being good enough in life. We think we are not beautiful enough. We are not handsome enough. We are not short enough. We are not tall enough. We, are, we, we don't have enough body. We don't have enough money. We don't have enough connections. We don't have enough. I mean, she said, when you look at your life, you don't see anything good about yourself. All you see is lack, 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 shortage, shortage, shortage. You think that everyone else is better in life except you. You feel that everyone else in life is handsome except you. Everyone else is beautiful, has a nice body, has, has, has money, has the right connections except you. It is a dangerous mindset. It is a, it, it, it is a defeatish mindset. When you have this mindset, you will never be able to take the initiative to do anything for yourself or anything good because you feel like you don't qualify. So if you don't qualify, why should you try to do some things? But look, in this life, we all qualify. We all qualify, I mean, at, at greatness in life. We all, we all qualify. Just play your cards right and you realize that, look, uh, you, you had everything you needed. You just didn't know. Second dangerous mindset, the mindset that only a few people are destined for greatness. It is, it, it is a dangerous mindset. You, you have this mindset that, oh, only a few are destined for greatness. Yes, in this life, some people will fail. Uh, sorry, some people will succeed and become rich. Some people will definitely be poor. That is life. But don't have the mindset that you are part of the few who are going to be poor or, or who are going to be failures in life. No. If some can be rich and some can be poor, some can be great and some can be failures, decide and choose that you're part of those who will be great. Choose it and work towards it. Choose greatness. Stop looking at yourself and saying, well, I think these kind of people, those the people who went to these kind of schools, those who went to these kind of DB schools, the international schools, the Montessori schools, those who went to university, those who have uh, masters, those who came out with first class, those who work in this, uh, this type of companies, forget it, forget it. Everyone has a shot at greatness. Choose to join those who are great and don't, don't, don't have that limiting mindset that only a few are destined for greatness. And even if it's only a few who are destined for greatness, be part of that, that limited few. Choose to be part of them. Choose to be part of that limited few and you will become great in life. Next dangerous mindset is the mindset that you're not beautiful enough or that you're not handsome enough. Who told you? Who told you? Look, the, as I keep saying, beauty lies in the, eyes of the, in the eyes of the beholder. You behold your own beauty. You are the one who owns your own beauty. Believe in yourself. Trust that, look, if other people look good, me I look good. I look good enough. Every, every, every opportunity that can come to people who look good, it will come to me too because I look good. I have what it takes to also make it in this life. Stop looking at yourself. Stop looking at yourself. The next dangerous mindset, and this one is even more dangerous than those who have the limiting uh, uh, the mindset, these are people who think no one else is as good as them. That is pride. You think no one else is as good as you. That is pride. 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 Who told you no one is, no one is as good as you? Yes, you are good in your, in your field. You are excellent at what you do. You are the best at what you do. But there are other best people. Stop thinking that you are the only good person in life. Just say, oh dear, if you're not in that uh, team, they can't do anything good in life. Who told you? You feel if you're not in, 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 in that group, they will fail. Who told you? Who told you? Yes, you are, you are very good at what you do. But without you, there are other good people. Stop, stop thinking you are, you are better than everyone else. It is pride that is making you do that. It is pride. 
So you are in a group, and instead of you to, to contribute fully for things to, to be done, you, out of pride, you want to uh, sit back so that you see the, the group fail. Then when the group fails, you are happy. <laughs> you are happy the group has failed because you are like, in your mind, well, without me, how, how can they do it well? Uh, you, see, you, see, you, see, you see the team failed? It is because I'm not there. It is, it, is, it, it is a spirit of pride that is growing inside you. Spirit of pride. And it's a dangerous mind, mindset, dangerous mindset that no one is as good as you. you are, it's pride. Stop it. Next dangerous mindset, <laughs> and this one, <laughs> it is the mindset that demons are responsible for your failure in life. Hey, my brother, my sister, papa demon rebuker, mama demon rebuker. Should I say, it's only you that demons are worrying in this life, and eh? that's what you think. It's only you, only you that demons know your address. Only you, demons know your phone number. So when they wake up, they call only you. Stop it. Stop it, oh, stop it. Yes, demons are responsible for making people fail in life. But you can decide. You can decide to rebuke these demons and walk in the grace that God has provided you. If you are a Christian, there is enough grace to, to, to rebuke and to cast out every demon around you. Stop, 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 stop making demons feel too... Uh, too powerful. Yes, they have some power. They have some power. Demons have some power. But you are more powerful than the demons. The, the Christ who lives in you, the Holy Spirit that lives in you, has made you more powerful than those demons. So stop giving demons too much post in your life. Sometimes it is your own laziness. It is your own procrastination. It is your own indecision that is making you fail in life. Not demons. Not demons. Your own laziness. You are too lazy. You procrastinate all the time. You are not time conscious. You, 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 you don't commit to a thing. You're not focused in life and you're blaming demons. It is you. Stop blaming demons. Stop giving them too much place in your life. They are not so important. It is a dangerous mindset to have. And when something goes wrong in your life, no, oh, it's demons, it's demons. No, check yourself. Check yourself. Are you doing everything you have to do, you have to, do to get what you, have to, what you want to have? Stop putting the blame on demons and stop giving them too much post. They are not as important as you think they are. <laughs> do, do you understand me? They are not so important to demons. Yes, they, they do their thing. But <laughs> stop giving them too much post. They are not responsible for all your failures in life. Sometimes it is you yourself who is failing to do what you have to do to get what you want to get in this life. Before I go to the next point, I want to remind you and I want to urge you, kindly subscribe to my channel now. Kindly subscribe. I know you've learned so much from my channel, so subscribe so you can always get to learn more from my channel. The next, the next dangerous mindset is the mindset that you need money to make money. You need money to make money. Yes, I mean, you need, you need some money to make more money. But even when you don't have money and you have the right connections, you can get, you can get everything else you want with the, with the right connections. And so having the right connections in life is a currency. I'm not saying go and connect to people just because you want to benefit from them. Well, no, because you yourself, you must be the kind of person where somebody wants to connect with you so they can benefit from you also. So if you have the mindset that you need money to make money, and so you are, you, you are blaming your poverty on the fact that you don't have money in your, in your family, well, you may be justified, but you're not fully justified. You're not fully justified. Other people came from places that are worse than your situation, but they still made it out of it. People came from deep, deep poverty, deep lack of, I mean, uh, uh, money and anything in this life, but they still found a way, some way, somehow, they found a way to make it in this life. And so stop blaming your, your lack of money. Yes, you need money to make it in life, but you don't, you don't always need money to make it in life. You don't always need money. Yes, you need the money, but you don't always need money. If you have um, good networks, if you have good people in your life, if you have the right people in your life, you may not need money. You can just talk to somebody, not necessarily to ask for help. You may just be sharing your ideas with the person. The person will decide to help you. So you don't, you don't always need money to make money. If you have people around you who have the money, you also make the money. The last dangerous mindset you need to discard is a, is a mindset that it's only hard work that makes you successful. It's only hard work. Who told you? I mean, you see people who, who work so hard but are still so poor. They work so hard though. Under this scorching sun in Africa, they are working tirelessly, working every day. They work from dawn to dusk, working so hard. And yet they are poor. They can't, they can't afford the nice things in life. They can't afford the good things in life. Yes, they are working hard. It, look, it is not only hard work that makes you rich in life. Oh. It is not only hard work that makes you successful. Yes, you need to be hard working. It is very important to be hard working. I am, I am very hard working. But beyond your hard work, it is the grace of God that makes you rich. It is the grace of God that makes you rich. It is not your hard work. 
If it is just hard work, other people would have been richer than you. If it is only hard work, other people would have been richer than you. But beyond the hard work, you need to work smart. And it is the grace of God that adds the icing to the cake. So you are rich and you are wealthy, not because of your hard work alone, but because of grace, the grace of God that has added on to your hard work and your smart work. I want to believe you've learned something important from this episode of Street Sense. If you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe now, like this video, leave a comment for me, share this video, and I'll see you on the next episode. Thank you very much. My name is Maxwell Mensah, and you can also call me The Talent Man.